Art, I have a question for you. Let me know if, if you've had this experience, but based on what you were just describing about the interpretation of data, the semantics, establishing the accurate meaning of data as it relates to what was communicated, what was collected, and as it relates to how it should be used in a business. If if you've not been doing that correctly, if you've inadvertently been misinterpreting volumes of data you've collected over the past year or two, and you just come to the realization based on some occurrence or some review or some analysis of what you've collected so far that <clears throat> we shouldn't have interpreted this as that. And because we did, it's actually flawed. Um, our reports, our, our decision-making, it, you know, it, it's introduced flaws into the output of our data science systems. If you, if you realize that, um, what do you do? What can you, uh, clean the data? Can you update the semantics historically? Is that, um, feasible to do so if you've already processed and your models have been learning based on, you know, all this? Can you unlearn? some of what they've interpreted, <clears throat> if you reach that point, because I think organizations um, who've brought in AI perhaps too hastily or with not enough in-house expertise as part of a pilot project that looked interesting and now it's become a bigger part of what they do, they may not have taken the time or care or have had the expertise to interpret that data correctly to begin with. But now, months, years later, they realize that they should have. What, what can an organization in that situation do? And um, I, sometimes I feel like, hey, I have this solution. Do you have a problem for me so I can help solving it? Uh, and, and that's not what I like to do. But at the same time, what you're describing now is quite common. And um, yeah, there is also this, if, if you start, and th this could be also part of a design session as well. Your problem might just be that, not related to customers, not related to business processes or to whatever, but they're saying, hey, I don't think the quality of my data is enough. You, could we have a design session of ways to think if we can, for example, use new ideas, new technologies, new paradigms to see what we can do with our data quality. We have actually been doing that. Just looking very often with data experts in what is the present situation? How did it come like that? I should have looked like, um, we kind of trained it are there, are there, uh, also on, on regulation that it should have complied with, and you do a kind of data quality uh, assessment all, also with that. Uh, it is possible, definitely possible to augment data quality, including semantics. Uh, and semantics is, is an interesting thing because it might have changed throughout the years. Words get different meanings, but it's also possible that, for example, a certain law of regulation said from now on, uh, the 1st of January, 1995, we introduce a new rule on a certain data field, which actually would mean that the content of the data field will have changed afterwards uh, in meaning. So yeah, it is possible to augment data quality using new technology. It's even possible to generate uh, uh, synthetic data, uh, which could be kind of re replacement for um, own data sources that are not useful enough. Um, it is possible to com to make comparison. This is what it should have been. This is what it is. Uh, what do we do with the differences? And then the, 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 the next question is, does it mean that you have to retrain models? Yeah, very often. That is the most practical way uh, of doing it. Um, but as I said before, um, you could almost say one model is no model. You have to train different models anyway to see what happens and, uh, and right. to find out which one is the most useful. In that. Yeah. I, I... I found what you just said really interesting. It's not just about interpreting semantics accurately, but staying on top of how the sem semantics themselves may evolve over time. Semantics may change over time. And I don't know if that's something people are really thinking about. They, they view a business in a certain frame and they go, this is the way it is. Let's, let's train our models. Let's develop our schemas based on this. But business changes, markets evolve. And those semantics themselves may may change. And that's something that we have to stay on top of um, because that'll impact our data. There is a, 
Actually, when I started in the whole IT world, it was in 1995. Uh, I started at a company called Panfox and I was sent to training, data, data modeling, information analysis, and all those elements were already here uh, 25 years ago. Um, defining data, I, I learned it back then, is one of the most difficult things there is because of, we're talking language, it can have different meanings. Uh, so how can you model data? How can you <clears throat> make proper definitions? Um, and yeah, I've, I've doing various projects at uh, government organization, keeping formal registers, like for example, the, the Chamber of Commerce having this, this register of all uh, companies in the Netherlands. They're applying law and definitely at certain points in time, the meaning of different data fields have changed. But also because in the past they used to have, I think, 14 or 15 regional organizations together forming the Chamber of Commerce. Each region was okay, working about the same, but not completely. So the data fields might have just a little bit of a different meaning depending on the regional office that was using it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes if you look in historic data, uh, the people have been working there for years and years and years. They can even name the name of a colleague that used to be kind of creative at a certain data field uh, using it. So yeah, th this is fascinating and, and it is possible to, to look into that with new technology, uh, but very often together with subject domain experts and just try to see what can we do in this situation. By the way, these formal registers, if they're handled properly, they have a very good um, historical timelines in it. Every change is registered, everything that is changed, even the mistakes, the mistakes will still be there. The mistake will be uh, will be checked and will be released, but will also be added. Uh, the, the whole formal history can be found back, and you should also have that both for semantics and even for for business rules for rules mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Just one quick question, just relating back to the scenario I described before, where an organization realizes its data is flawed, its um, systems have learned things the wrong way. In a circumstance like that. Um, the organization can either try to repair what it's accumulated, but if it has massive amounts of data, um, the organization could also just choose to start over and just say, okay, let's just wipe it out, put in the correct um, systems, train, train the systems the correct way, um, make the interpretation accurate, make sure there's no data bias or anything else, make it as clean and pure and relevant as possible and just start over. Um, how would you advise them? Is it just based on, you know, individual circumstances or is that is that a valid option to just wipe the slate clean? Well, the, the wiping out is, is hardly ever done, but starting a second set of databases next to it is a very valid option. And you can use the older data set also to generate the new, sometimes synthetic uh, data set. Doesn't have to become the new truth, but it can be made so useful that you can train your models on it and um, and um, be much more accurate. Um, mm -hmm. um, but but wi wiping out, I, I don't know what your experience is, but most systems have not been made in order to uh, be wiped out. Um, and, and most of the time they're just being, uh, once they're not being used, they're being shut down and the copy will remain somewhere uh, for, for future purposes. Sure. But using these data to start a new database or set of databases, yeah, definitely possible and, and very often a good solution. Yeah. That, that's, that's an excellent yeah. solution because then you have the yeah. best of both worlds, but you're not reliant yeah. on the flawed yeah. data until perhaps you can get around to, to repairing it. Um, yeah, and this is bringing us, bringing us back to, as I said before, 25 years ago, what is the most important in information technology? Information, modeling information, semantics, quality. Mm -hmm. And we kind of lost it, this, this discipline. I think somewhere in the 1990s, in the beginning of 2000s, we still used to have a lot of data modelers and experts. They got kind of lost and they were replaced by data scientists and also data stewards, but they kind of lack this, this old fashioned discipline and data scientists trying to make uh, meaning out of huge data sets. But that's not, not the only way. The proper way should also be modeling, going into your semantics and really um, take, take a hold of your business domain.